welcome to Allie in the Valley. I'm Allison Ball Kilmer. Allie in the Valley is a lifestyle blog about healthy, delicious food, all while staying on a budget. Homegrown cooking, down to earth living. Welcome back. Now I'm gonna make with my amazing um, huevos rancheros, I'm gonna make a very traditional Latin tequila cocktail. Actually, I think it's one of the biggest uh, cocktails in Mexico, it's called a paloma. And a paloma is really simple ingredients, so simple. It's grapefruit, tequila, of course, lime, you could either use um, sugar, but I have um, maple bee syrup, personally. You rim the glass with a little mint, whatever condiments you want. And I do a lot of traveling in Mexico and a lot of vacation in Mexico, and this is a very, very traditional, amazing drink. Um, you can make it with fresh grapefruit juice, but here at Alley in the Valley, what I have in my refrigerator, I had store-bought um, grapefruit juice, so I'm gonna make it with it. And it's just a delightful, fresh uh, tequila cocktail. And nowadays, I'm all doing tequila. Let me just tell you, this is my favorite brand. Paso Amigos. <laughs> uh, it was originally done by George Clooney and um, Randy Goober owned it. I think they sold it since then, but I love it. It's a great taste, it's light, it feels really good. I love it. So it's really, really simple. Um, let me run the glass. And um, it's great for around the pool, when you have your girlfriends over, or just when you want a great cocktail with a little tequila. You know, sometimes I personally, um, when I go out sometimes, I just drink tequila with soda water. Just, you know, especially when I'm working out, trying to keep those pounds off. But here at Alley in the Valley, I'm always entertaining. And I want a little something that's a little special. So, bottom line, you just do, um, a little bit of grapefruit juice. Like I said, you can do fresh squeezed grapefruit juice too. All right. I'm gonna do the Casa Amigos or whatever kind of tequila that you enjoy, but you gotta try this, it's so good. I think they sold the company for something ridiculous. They're so rich off of this. I actually need my own liquor. liquor. Um, and then you're gonna put some, um, I have maple bean syrup, you can do maple bean syrup, sugar, or agave, whichever you prefer. I have this in my refrigerator, just like I have the uh, grapefruit juice. You're gonna do grapefruit juice, seltzer water. So you're not just drinking all tequila, even though I could do that, trust me. And ice. Mmm, okay. And then let's uh, do a little bit of a lime Please. Oops. Stay on there. And we'll just garnish with some mint. Mm, this mint smells spearmint. It smells so good. You could do garnish with lime. You can garnish with um, grapefruit. And here is your paloma. Yeah, I gotta taste it. It's like a refreshing sunset. That's exactly what it tastes like. A refreshing sunset. So this goes along perfectly with a Sunday brunch of huevos rancheras. Maybe I'll make another one for my crew. <laughs> All right. Just gonna get the rim wet so we can put salt around the rim. All right, I'm gonna show you the tequila first so you can see how much tequila. I would say, like one ounce of tequila, unless she really wants strong. One ounce of tequila, a half an ounce of sweetener, which right here is maple bean syrup, agave or sugar, and the rest, two ounces of grapefruit juice, and to top it all off, bubbly grapefruit seltzer. Water. You could do plain too, but you want to keep the great um, taste in there, and that's the refreshing part. Ooh, I almost spilled. <laughs> and beautiful spearmint. All right, here's to Casa Amigos Paloma. Cheers.
Oh, you know where you can get the recipe? www.addingintheballot.com.